In this tutorial, we're going to create a spring in Autodesk Fusion 360. So let's start by coming up to Create, and let's click on this Create tab, and let's come down to the Coil. So click on Coil, and we're going to select this plane right here. And from here, we're going to click on the Origin and drag out. And I'm going to type in 2 inches, so 2, Enter. And from here, we're going to see that our coil automatically propagates with a bunch of different parameters that we can change here in this menu. So under our type revolution and height, which is selected by default, we can change the diameter. So I can change this to be three inches. I can also change the amount of revolutions, the height of it, the angle, and etc. So let's start by changing the height to be, let's say four inches. And once we do that, we can change the revolutions to be, let's say, 4. And you're going to see that the height stays the same and the software adds another revolution to the spring. If I change this to be 2, you're going to see that there are only 2 revolutions within the height of 4 inches. In addition to changing the revolutions and height, which are key features, I can also change the angle that the spring comes out at. So if I change this to be, say, 20 degrees, you're going to see that the spring um, angles outwards by 20. Now, if I put a negative sign in front of this 20, you're going to see that it, it actually fails. And the reason is because the uh, diameter is not large enough to support such a harsh angle. So let's set this to be uh, 4. Now, when I change my diameter to 4 inches, all of a sudden it can propagate because the angle isn't so extreme that it causes the spring to not even be able to be generated. So that being said, let's dial down this angle to be, let's say, 10 degrees. And we can change our section size here. And the section size uh, changes the uh, size of the profile. So if I change this to be, let's say, 0.3, you're going to see that our section changes accordingly. So with a smaller section, we can fit more revolutions into our part. So I can come in here and type in five or even six, and you can see that I can fit all of these coils in here. Now, if I change the section size to be 0.1, you can see that I could actually dial up my amount of revolutions even more. I can make it 12 because there's enough room for all of them. That being said, um, I want to show one more really cool feature here uh, before we, we move on. So if I have six revolutions and I change my section size to let's say 0.2, um, then it's very easy to see when I change the section to square that the section actually changes. So before we had a circle, but now we actually have a square. And I can change this to be a triangle or a triangle coming the other way that really just changes the direction of it. And so that's all really neat and cool. And if we want to change the rotation, um, which is either a left hand or a right hand spring, I can come over here and click on this and that's going to change the direction of it depending on whether we want a left hand or a right hand spring. And the section position over here is going to change the way that my spring is actually dimensioned. So let's change this back to circular and let's zoom up to here and under section position right now it's on center which is right here but if I change it to be outside you're going to see that the diameter is now dimensioned to the inside of the circle. Likewise if I change it to be inside you see that the diameter is at the end of the circle here. So under type, we can actually change the parameters that we want to drive our spring with. So if I come down to revolution and pitch, I can actually just change the pitch and that's going to drive the development of the spring. Now, if I want to change it with just the height and the pitch, then I can come over here. And when I change the height to be, let's say seven inches, you're going to see that the amount of coils comes up automatically based on the height. Now that's just if you want your spring to be dimensioned in that way and that's the those are the parameters that you want to drive it. The last thing under type is spiral. 
Now the spiral tool is used when you want to create a flat spring that doesn't have any height to it. It's pretty much just in, in one direction. So we can change other types of parameters that we've seen before, like pitch. I can make this two inches and the pitch is going to change accordingly. I can change the amount of revolutions. I can dial it down or I can dial it up. And I can, I can dial it up as much as I want. I can keep going with this uh, pretty much forever. And same thing like we saw before, there's a section position, there's on center, and then there's inside. And if we look closely, and we change our section position, we're going to see that it shifts it. So if I see if I change this to be inside, then it's going to be inside the circle. And of course, outside is going to be outside the circle, but I often leave it on, on center. I just feel that's the most intuitive way to measure it. Um, so we can also change the section size as, as we've seen before. We can make it uh, whatever dimension we want within reason. And we can change the rotation. And that's the coil tool.